Hey, this is Margaret Lynch from MargaretMLynch.com. Totally committed to you being more passionate and powerful in your life. And that means I have to talk about sex today on this video because we are going through a series of the second chakra, which is the key, the only key and the only way to get more passion, more energy, more fire, more charisma, to be more captivating, to be more compelling. You can't do it just by thinking and being smart. It's a different energy and it comes from the second chakra. And one of the seven aspects of the second chakra is sexual energy. So let's talk about sex because your sexual energy is a fire hose of life force energy that is meant to f shoot up from your second chakra through your body continuously, bringing you a fountain of youth, bringing you energy, bringing you creative force, whether or not you are in a relationship or active sexually or not, it doesn't matter. Sexual energy is a piece of your core life force survival energy. And so many of us in our 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s decide that we're not going to be sexual beings anymore. And when we do that, we age faster, we have less energy, we go more up into our head and try to be very smart, very expert, get more degrees, but we don't have the energy on the planet and the ability to captivate and transform people and we wonder why. So we have to talk about sexual energy and the ways that we have often chosen to shut it down. So this is a, a touchy subject because we immediately get into people's relationship issues, but we also get into sexual trauma and in an inordinately large amount of people have some, women have some type of sexual trauma and in a, a surprisingly large amount of men also have sexual trauma. And so there's nothing like sexual trauma to m give you a really good reason to shut down your second chakra at a young age or whenever it happened, never to be allowed again to let somebody in that much or to let that kind of energy flow. However, the healing that you do around sexual trauma is the same healing that will bring you more energy and more passion in your life. Because here's the thing, you cannot live alive and real and on fire without your own natural flow of sexual energy. The other things we, as I said, we get into relationship issues and there is a lot of power struggles in relationships because the person who has the lowest sex drive in the relationship tends to have the most power because they can withhold. And many, many times in relationships, one person has decided to have this part of them be shut down, maybe for some reason, something that happened, but they never go there again. There's some type of mistrust or um, an, unwilling, an, an unwillingness to be vulnerable, to allow their partner in, to really allow sexual energy to flow. And although we sometimes can use it as a weapon against our partner, it's really hurting you. And I've met with so many coaches over the years, so many women and men who when this topic comes up get very uncomfortable and they know and admit that they have taken this part of their life and said, that part's over and just shut it down. So I would invite you in this video to really think about where have you shut down your sexual energy? Where have you stopped allowing a sexual flow with your partner if you're in a relationship or just in your system even if you're not in a relationship? Because sexual energy is also creative energy. We can use that energy for anything but we have to let it flow. So what traumas do you have around sexual energy? What, um, what vows have you made to never be sexual? What fears do you have around sexuality or the taboo that are stopping you from a real, true, and healthy flow of one of the most important pieces of your energy that there is? Life, force, survival, raw energy. You don't want to cap that off. And so when we talk about sexual energy, one of the biggest fears that comes up, comes up with people is 
Margaret, if I open that up, what if I go crazy? Well, here's the thing, you know, you're not going to go crazy. I mean, I guess you might go crazy, but it, when you open up sexual energy, sensuality, sexuality, um, particularly when you're in a committed relationship, what it means is you're going to go deeper into your vulnerability and deeper into your feeling and deeper into presence, and, but you're still going to have your conscience and your faculties in your upper chakras around making decisions. So people worry that they're going to become crazy and immoral and that's really not a legitimate fear because you still get to keep who you are and all of your experience and your conscience and your choices in this time in your life. You just get to have that together with the rejuvenating vibrant energy of sexual energy. So this video is really about you getting clear and we can't just do tapping in a video to clear sexual trauma and all the serious issues around this, but it's you getting clear about what your issues are, write them down and then circle them and put an arrow pointed to them and say, I have to work on this because it's costing me and it's holding me back. I know that it's scary, but it's some of the most powerful work that you can do. So this is Margaret Lynch. I hope this video gave you something to think about. Um, and I'll see you on the next one in this series.